Suppose I were to take a dagger from my sleeve and make to kill the prisoner with it. And my lordship's there, instead of crying out for me to stop, maintain their silence. That would be token. It would be token of willingness that I should do it. And under the law, they would be guilty with me. So silence can, according to the circumstances, speak. Let us consider now the circumstances of the prisoner's silence. The oath was put to loyal subjects up and down the country, and they all declared his grace's title to be just and good. But when it came to the prisoner, he refused. He calls this silence. Yet is there a man in this court, is there a man in this country who does not know Sir Thomas More's opinion of this title? No. Yet how can this be? Because this silence be token, nay, this silence was not silence at all, but most eloquent denial. Not so. Not so, Master Secretary. The maxim is qui tacet consentire. The maxim of the law is silence gives consent. If therefore you wish to construe what my silence betokened, you must construe that I consented, not that I denied. Is that in fact what the world construes from it? Do you pretend that is what you wish the world to construe from it? The world must construe according to its wits. This court must construe according to the law.